Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is suffix 30. The suffix today is born, V-O-R-N-E, as a word ending. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot? Do it right now. Let's get right to it. Born as a suffix means carried or moved by a particular thing. Uh, it is usually added to nouns to form adjectives. Uh, the suffix born derives from the verb bear and is usually used with things carried by air, water, uh, animals, you know, especially in the sense of spread by animals. Uh, there is a meaning of the verb bear that means to carry or take somewhere, you know, like in bear gifts. Remember the old famous proverb, uh, you know, beware Greeks bearing gifts, you know, carrying gifts, uh, you know, giving you gifts, bear, to bear in that sense. All right, and let's get right to it. We have several examples here. Here's the first one, waterborne. All right, we got two meanings for waterborne. A waterborne disease is one people get from dirty water, either you know drinking dirty water or bathing in dirty water. Uh, and the second meaning here is something that is waterborne is transported by water. So waterborne can have two meanings. Uh, all right, here's the first one. If you swim in that dirty water, you may get a waterborne disease, and there are many of those. Uh, the second one here, he took a waterborne safari through the Amazon. Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, Bloodborne, a disease spread through blood. Um, if heroin addicts uh, share needles, they may get some bloodborne diseases such as HIV, you know, which was like AIDS, or, or hepatitis, yes, could be spread through blood, sharing needles, things like that. All right, uh, next one, foodborne, uh, transport, uh, transmitted through food. Uh, they ingested some foodborne bacteria and got a case of food poisoning. Okay, good. Next one, tick-borne. You know, that, that little animal that, you know, lives on, um, uh, well, actually, that little insect that lives on a lot of animals. Originally, it was deer, but, of course, they spread to definitely dogs and cats and things like that. Uh, Lyme disease is a tick-borne disease, so it could be spread through ticks. Well, let's continue. Airborne. Uh, carried in the air. An air uh, is one meaning. We got two meanings for this one. Or an aircraft that is flying is also airborne too. So you got two here. Uh, so we say that that, uh, that company has been accused of releasing airborne pollutants or any sort of disease that can spread through the air. Like the coronavirus is an airborne illness, basically. It can be spread through the air. Um, that helicopter was airborne for only a few minutes before it started having engine trouble. Okay, so it was only up in the air flying for a few minutes and engine trouble started right away. Uh, rodent born. You know, rodent, the rodent family, you know, the rat, mouse, you know, any sort of small animals like that, that family. Rodent born, uh, carried by rodents or spread by rodents. The Black Plague was believed to be a rodent born disease. Yes. Okay, good. And the last one here, mosquito born carried by mosquitoes or spread by mosquitoes, you know. Malaria is a mosquito-borne disease. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.